welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a bit of a plan with me but an archiving edition. If you'd like to find out how I archive my planners then keep watching. My name's Sarah Jane and I create videos about ring band planners, journaling and stationery so if that's something that you're into why not consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already a subscriber well thank you very much and welcome back. So happy new year! 2022 has a come and gone. A new year means a new planner setup, but what about our planner inserts for 2022? So I have kept my Filofax inserts for many years, dating back to 2007. I remember being greatly inspired to keep saving them by a photo that I saw on Flickr. So this was posted by a chap named George, um, and he had inserts in this drawer dating back to 1988. So I originally did what George had done, which was to keep them in little bundles held together by elastic bands. But as time went on, I really wanted to be able to look back through my old inserts. I'm closer to 40 than I am 30, and I realized that I had my entire 20s captured in those little bundles. I played around with a couple of other archiving methods using binder rings and little cardboard folders, but none seemed to offer me everything that I was looking for in an archiving system, which is things like ease of access to the pages, the protection of the pages, ease of storage, so is it compact, is it attractive, can it be kept on display on a shelf? And that was until I came across these clear plastic binders. So they come in a couple of sizes, they come in A7, A6 and A5, which makes them suitable for pocket, personal and A5 binders. They're fairly inexpensive, they're of a pretty decent quality and they store very, very easily. So I'll link to the store that I purchased them from on AliExpress and I've made a couple of orders of these binders from that store now and I haven't had any problems so I definitely would recommend them. So this is what an empty binder looks like. This is my... 2021 binder. So now to archive the rest of my 2022 inserts. I've been archiving as I go through 2022. The slimline file effects I was using previously is very thin, so I couldn't keep the full year's inserts in my planner at once. I, even though I'm in regular size rings now, I still won't be keeping my entire year in the file effects all at once. So when I put in new pages into my planner, I swap out some of the older pages in the archive so that at the end of the year, I end up with this little, little archive folder. And this year I've put little month tabs on my pages so it's easier to find each month. I do have my cover page that I've had in my planner for 2022. That will be coming in here. And then the rest of my diary pages and then also my note pages. I'll start off with my cover page. Adding in my note pages now. I like to label my folders using the embossing labels from Dymo. When they're lined up together, it looks really good. Do you archive your planner inserts? And if you do, what system do you use? I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe leave a comment. And if you'd like to see more content like this, you can always subscribe to my channel or follow me over on Instagram where I post daily. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye.